The destruction on display in Israeli cities has come as a terrible shock to residents. Here in Tel Aviv, rockets fired by a militant group, Hamas, slammed into apartments and residential streets. But the psychological impact is worse. Hundreds of Israelis were killed in a bloody day of fighting, many of them civilians, shot at home, on their farms, in their communities. It is an unthinkable calamity for the state of Israel. In Sterot, militants gun down people on city streets, an implausible breach of security for residents. To see terrorists shooting from all over, just shooting and killing innocent civilians, that's something abnormal in Israel. Where's the army? Where's the government? In an intense battle, Israeli forces have retaken Starot's police station, killing at least 10 militants in the process. But an army spokesman said they were still fighting in eight other locations. Israel's Defense Force has recalled 10,000 reserves, many now operational in southern Israel. And the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, said the military would soon turn to offensive operations. All the places where Hamas hides and operates from, we will turn them into cities of ruins. I say to the residents of Gaza, get out of there now, because we will act everywhere and with all strength. But residents of Gaza cannot avoid the conflict. Because there's no way to leave this overpopulated strip. And it has been targeted with more than 400 Israeli airstrikes. Local officials say 13 residential tower blocks have been destroyed. An unknown number of Israelis are being held in Gaza captured by the militants during the assault, their safety will complicate Israel's response. And Sky News understands that two British men are missing, including 26-year-old Jake Marlowe. He was at a music festival in southern Israel and has not been heard from since yesterday. And a Briton serving in the Israeli army has lost his life. 20-year-old Nathaniel Young from London was killed on the Gaza border, according to his family. The Israeli Prime Minister warns of a long and difficult war, with an armed incursion into Gaza considered likely. The prospect of peace looks dim. John Sparks, Sky News.